grouping things on basis of common properties. Recognize various kinds of materials. List various materials on the basis of its appearance, texture, and uses. Understand concepts like solubility, miscibility, and transparency. What is this? Oh, sweeties, didn't I tell you to keep the room clean? Is that my mistake? I told Bhaiya not to scatter the room. You were also playing, yes. Yeah. Don't fight. Let's clear it up. Let's collect them one by one. Bring your toys and put them in the bag. Mama, I will collect all the newspapers, books and notebooks. Good. Uh, can you help me with this? There are so many ways to group objects. In the given activity, we have grouped objects on the basis of their common properties, like on the basis of their same shape, on the basis of their materials and uses. We group things to make our work easy and to study about them. We have various materials around us. These materials can be used to make different objects. These materials may be wood, plastic, cotton, paper or soil. Can you imagine the world without these materials? Mama, there are so many materials around us. Can we use different materials to make the same object? Hmm, of course. See, we have chairs. One of wood, one of plastic and one of metal. So, we can use various materials to make an object. Hmm, like the way you have plates in the kitchen. One of ceramic, one of steel and one of glass. <laughs> you are right. One material can be used to make various objects. Yes, we have so many things made up of glass. Like a table, glass and jug. And there are many. Similarly, wood is also used for making many materials. Like my carom board, doors. Mama, in your kitchen you have so many things made up of metal, like glasses, steel plates, your gas stove. Yes, your papa's car is also made of metal. How do we decide what material is used for making any given object? Oh, that's easy. Kobe, look, there are three pots, one of copper, one of paper and one of wood. Now tell me, which one would you use to cook the food? Mm, I will use the copper bowl. The other two will catch fire when placed on the burner. Can we use cloth to make a tumbler? No, it will not hold the liquid in it. We can use some other substance like plastic or metal. Thus we conclude that the use of material depends on their properties. Today, I will tell you about various properties of matter. These properties help us to know about them and we can make use of these materials. Let's discuss some properties of materials. When we talk about some material, we look first at its appearance. Materials usually look different from each other. Some have luster and some look dull. Yes, see my new toy car. It shines. Mama, your necklace is also shining. Yes, generally all metallic objects have luster. But there are some objects which have dull appearance. Like the earthen pot and this wooden stool. Yes. Mama, Will my car always remain shining like this? Some metals often lose their shine and appear dull because of the action of air and moisture on them. Like this old lock. A freshly cut surface always looks shiny and lustrous. Oh, it is very difficult to cut them. You can also rub it with sandpaper 
to see if it has luster. Let me try. Yes, it's shining again. Materials around us can be hard or soft. Materials like wood, iron or stones are hard. They cannot be pressed or compressed with hands. Materials like sponge, cotton and chalk are called soft substances. They can be pressed or compressed with hands. How will you check that the given substance is hard or soft? It is very easy. Materials like chalk and wax are easily scratched. Hence, they are soft. Materials like stones and iron nails cannot be scratched. Hence, they are hard. Hello, Nani. How are you? Hi, Beta. Is it very hot out there? Come, I will make Nimbu Pani for you. What a magic, Nani! Where have the sugar crystals gone? As sugar is soluble in water, so it disappears. You mean substances which completely disappear or dissolve in water are called soluble substances? Nani, do all things disappear or dissolve in water? No, all things are not soluble in water. Substances which do not dissolve or disappear in water are called insoluble substances. Come, I will show you. Water plays an important role in the functioning of our body. It dissolves large number of substances. It also helps in absorption of food and excretion of waste products from the body. Children, an average person should drink 2 to 3 liters of water every day. Do liquids also dissolve in water? Yes, there are many liquids which dissolve in water. The liquids which dissolve in water are called miscible substances. See, we have just mixed lemon juice to water. You mean lemon juice is a miscible liquid? Yes, you are right. There are many examples like milk, vinegar, ink and orange juice. Nani, let's mix oil and water. Nani, it's not mixing. Because oil is an immiscible substance. What is immiscible? The liquids which do not dissolve in water are called immiscibles. You know, water and crude oil are immiscible. That is why we can extract them from the seabed. Do gases also dissolve in water? Most of the gases are insoluble in water like nitrogen, hydrogen and carbon monoxide. But gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide are slightly soluble in water. Oxygen dissolved in water is very important for the survival of animals and plants that live in water. Nani, my fish also have gas in it. <laughs> yes, those bubbles are of gases only. Here goes my boat. Wow, it's floating. Oops, where is my ball? It is also floating there on the river. How will I get it back? Run it. Hit it with this stone. Oh, where has my stone gone? See, run it. All the substances heavier than water sink in it, like a coin or a nail. 
यू मीन स्टोन इज हैवियर देन वॉटर यस बट सब्सटेंसेस लाइटर देन वॉटर फ्लोट ऑन इट लाइक दो डेड लीव्स एंड माय बोन यस गोबी ऑब्जेक्ट्स अराउंड अस आर मेड अप ऑफ अ लार्ज वैरायटी ऑफ मटेरियल्स अ गिवन मटेरियल could be used to make a large number of objects it is also possible that an object could be made of a single material or of many different types of materials different types of materials have different properties some materials are shiny in appearance while others are not some are rough some smooth Similarly some materials are hard whereas others are soft Some materials are soluble in water whereas others are insoluble Some materials such as glass are transparent others such as wood and metals are opaque Some materials are translucent Materials are grouped together on the basis of similarities and differences in their properties. Things are grouped together for convenience and to study their properties.